Hi guys, this is Thomas. I uh, wanted to show you why I'm creating the Visual MASM IDE to, to allow you to develop in Windows Assembly using Microsoft MASM. And what you're looking at is the, the Intel 8086, which was originally published in 1976. So that's, let's see, it's about 40, 41 years ago. <clears throat> and so if you look at that chip, chip uh, sorry, I actually have, a, I have the original one. And if you, if you look closely, if you can see this. This is the original size here. So if you cut this open, what you would see is the inside of the 8086 looks pretty complicated. And if you go zoom in, actually there's, uh, it makes all sense actually, but I just wanted to show you guys in 41 years, you can still do assembly programming for Windows and just knock the socks off everything else you can program in any other language. And so, oh, by the way, uh, what you're looking at is uh, posters that I created. I took a couple of images from the internet and blew up it by three feet by two feet here. And here is uh, three feet by three feet, which is really cool. So anyways, um, it is absolutely fascinating when you able to manipulate this CPU here that you're looking at, even with today's CPUs from the x86, 286, 386, 486, the Pentium, all the way up to today's uh, Intel processors, nothing really has changed. So what has changed is instead of 16-bit to mostly develop your assembly applications in 32-bit, you can of course do 64-bit nowadays, but the majority of the applications still today are done in 32-bit in assembly, meaning if you are doing assembly. so. My point is that um, it is super exciting if you zoom into this chip and you be able to manipulate registers and bits one by one and you can literally see the effect on your Venus applications. So anyways, I um, just wanted to give you a quick introduction why I'm still thinking this is so fascinating and uh, I wanted to do this with an IDE or a tool that you know, is fun to use in order to create Windows assembly application. That is why I'm doing Visual MASM. And it's almost at a point where I can consider, well, I can start using it. Oops, my finger here. I can start using it and then uh, create small applications besides the Hello World Windows applications and show you in additional videos in the future. Uh, we go into some more technical, uh, difficult applications such as how do you program a Windows assembly application using um, just the sockets in order to communicate to, say, grabbing a website, the HTML output, parsing it, or able to how to communicate to a REST backend uh, using a Windows app. What is so cool is that these Windows apps are going to be so tiny, so small, nothing else will beat it. So we have the fascinating speed and then also the the extremely small application sizes. Anyways, just want to give you a quick uh, appetizer, you can call it, on I think which is going to be a fascinating ride into additional future videos. I'll see you later.